On the Sonar phone, all apps are managed with the software manager. This is an extra app you can find here. This app tells you which software and which version is installed on the Sonar phone. So in case of the Leak Expert app, you can see here version 1.3.2 and uh, for the level meter the same 1.3.2. On the right, the white uh, arrows, they are used to uninstall the app and the circles right next to them are gray in this case and they are not activated. Um, in case of an update, those circles would be white and uh, we could use them for updates. But in this case, um, there is no new version available on the Sonar phone. After downloading the new versions of the apps to the PC, we can see those uh, APK files on the PC and we now need to transfer them to the internal storage of the Sonar phone to update our existing apps. We therefore use the USB cable, which is part of each Sonar phone set, and we connect it to the Sonar phone. We could hear and we could see that on each Windows PC uh, there's this pop up window uh, with the Sonar phone and the internal storage. Double click. And one of the existing folders on the internal storage of each Sonar phone is the so called Sonar phone folder. Here we can find all the existing APK files and licenses. So next, we take the downloaded new versions of the apps, copy them and paste them to the internal storage of the Sonar phone. And please have a look while I copy what is happening here in the software manager while I'm copying. You could see popping up all those white uh, circles which giving us a signal now that there is something available for update. After we copied the new software versions to the Sonar phone, we now start the update process. So tap on the update symbol and the app informs us that League Expert is now available in 1.4. We confirm this and start the installation process And after a couple of seconds, um, this will be done. We can either open the app, which is updated, or press done and going back to the software manager. And you can see now the leak expert is updated to 1.4. We do this again with the other apps. So this is the same routine. Um, equal for all apps. And finally for the software manager. And because we did that for the software manager, after the installation, it, it's closed because now it's available in a new version. We open it. And now we see that all apps are on the latest um, version. Some little more information. We can see that one of the apps is missing in the, in the starting screen. So go to the main menu, take it and drag and drop it to the position you like. And now we have the, the screen, the front screen we are used to.